Hello teachers! Today I would like to show you how to add students to your class and what information you can see on your teacher dashboard. The way to add students to your class is by clicking this purple Add Students button at the top of the My Students chart. When you click this button, a link will be generated which you can send to your students to register. Once a student registers, they will be added to the My Students chart. If you're looking for more information about a particular student, you can expand them. In addition to seeing the student's name, learning time, activity status, and grade, I can now also see the student's username, which is helpful if they forget which email they use to register. I can see the areas of difficulty, including grammar, vocabulary, spelling, pronunciation, and which skills they have difficulty with. And I can see a breakdown of the grade. Our grade is made up of four components, attendance, performance, concentration, and a once monthly improvement quiz. I can also see the total learning time for the dates that I've chosen above, as well as the last login and the time of their last login. As you can see, I have it set so that only 10 students show at a time. You can easily change this to suit your needs. If you have it set to a number that is less than the number of students you have in your class, you will have pages in your My Students chart. Below the My Students chart, you will see the class overview bar. Here you can download a class report or download a grade report. The class report gives specific information about students' difficulties per student, as well as learning time. The grade report gives a much more succinct view, which is especially good when you are creating report cards for students. Your class leaderboard will update itself once a month. It will tell you your most dedicated students for the month, your students with the most knowledge points for the month, and your students with the highest correctness percentage, your most successful students for the month. To download a certificate, you simply choose the student whom you would like to download the certificate for, and you click download. It will have their name and the relevant month and year. In the class ranking, you can see how your class compares to other classes in the school. This can be a great motivational tool for students because you can use it as healthy competition. Tell them that if you learn just a few more hours, you'll be in first place. The grammar accuracy chart helps to give you an overall view of your class's difficulties in grammar. This class struggles with passive voice, having only a 68.75% correctness rate. The more pages I scroll, the higher my correctness percentage will move. This is good so that I know what I need to reinforce as a teacher in my classroom. Below that, I can see my school lexicon and four skills practiced. In the lexicon, I see different words that my students have practiced and at which proficiency level they are. Four skills practiced shows me how many of each type of exercise my students have completed. My vocabulary progress chart is the last chart on my teacher dashboard and this shows me my students vocabulary progress over time. As you can see they not only know more words but they know more words at a higher proficiency level as well. I hope this helped and happy learning!